Okay. Well, first of all, Mr. Mr. Zegris, or if I can call you Zegs, this is actually, like, I think the fourth time I've met you before. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I still dude. can't believe the flame tape thing, dude. Okay. We're going to, we're going to get that. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Cause that was Sorry, I jumped the gun on that. I just feel like that had to be said before we started. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? I'll get to it. Cause the first I want to talk, dude, congratulations. You're the cover athlete of NHL 23. Uh, a dream, a dream come true for anyone. And it's just an incredible accomplishment. Personally, I think EA made the best possible decision. You're, you're one of the best. You're just one of the best personalities for the game. On the ice, personality is amazing. Off the ice, personality is amazing. I want to ask you, though, man, if it were up to you, who would you have stuck on the cover of Shell 23, other than yourself? Who would I have picked? I mean, I feel like my car would be an easy choice. Um just because, like, that guy's not a human being at all. Um, I mean, you could give it to McDavid, but it would have been nice to see a couple of my buddies on there. Like, Jack Hughes would have been a good one. Um, I mean, Quinn Hughes would have been a good one. Uh, I would have loved to see Cole on there. I think Cole will be on there sooner than later, obviously playing in Montreal, but um, definitely would be cool to see a couple of my buddies on there for sure. For sure, man. I mean, bar down, mocked up what Jack Hughes would have looked like there. And, yeah, and sad- I saw that one. Yeah. 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 Sad. Sadly, I made the cut there as well. So, um, dude, who is who? Like, what is your favorite cover in the game's history? Which year? I think 07 was Ovechkin. Oh yeah. So dude. awesome. That is the greatest intro to a video game I think of all time. Coolest like, man. Soundtrack, the, like the hits, the goal is so so cool. Me and my brother say the soundtrack, be- best breakup soundtrack of all time. Whenever you're the lady. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All the bangers. I, and I had that game on the, the PSP, too. Oh, the, oh, so, the PSP. What a system. And you could play, like, the big heads and, like, the little, like, uh, shootout mode. Uh, it was incredible. Yes, yeah. man. Uh, so, great cover. And I, I think that's when, like, they introduced, like, the new controls in, in Cello 7. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I'm a, I guess I'm a bit of an older soul. Cello 3, for me, always will be my favorite with Jerome McGill on the cover. And NHL 2001 with Owen Nolan. That's just a... Yeah, a game. I know it was oh, yeah. a little bit before my time. I would have been two when the, the 03 <laughs> one came out. Make so me feel a little older, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's probably yeah. right before, right before my time, but right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so man, in the game now, you can pull off the Michigan. What do you think is harder, pulling off the Michigan in Shell or pulling off the Michigan in real life? I don't even, I, I can't even figure it out in Shell. Like, I'll stand behind the net in, like, the one-on-one mode. I, I still have never pulled one off. So, I'm going to say it's easier in real life for sure. <laughs> well, well, yeah, you've done it a couple of times. So, you make it look pretty easy out there. <laughs> My percentage on the ice is way better than in the video game. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we, talking about the Michigan, you obviously pulled off a different version of it where you use it as a pass. Is this something that maybe we can expect in the new Shell game? Oh, yeah. It's going to be in there for sure. And I think it's going to be like kind of weird, but like kind of crazy too, to like see people flipping it over the net. I think it's going to be good stuff. Man, so many people are just going to be the Anaheim Ducks and they're just <laughs> going to use, they're just going to use you and just trying to do that. Oh, it's, it's going to be uh, awesome, man. What, what, one of the craziest plays ever. It's, it's the best, but staying on the topic of Chell, obviously you've, you've played a bit in your day. What's the craziest chirp that you've ever said to someone online? And let's keep it PG here. Well, what's good is I like grind shell 22. I have a hut team and I don't know. I think it's because they sent me my 99 card and like, like mid game, I'll get like texts from the other guy and be like, you're terrible. Like he'll just start going off on me and be like, there's no way, like whatever, like all that good stuff. Um, so I think that's probably like the most crazy I've ever been. Cause I usually take the headset off. I'll play music when I'm playing. Like I don't get too into it. Uh, but it's funny to see like, the guy you're playing just pouring in like I, I don't even know if it's like dms or whatnot but uh it's pretty good you got to play with the bar down team sometimes some big show guys and just on the topic of music man you know i i actually didn't have this one planned out to ask you before but what kind of music do you listen to i like the 90s rock right now like the old stuff um i'm kind of a mixed bag i kind of listen to everything um but i do like some 90s rock right now for sure so sarah nurse is the alternate cover athlete uh and just on you know talking about female hockey who are some of your favorite female hockey players there are some great ones all over the world i know obviously canada and america have a great rivalry so who are some of your favorites 
Well, obviously, I've gotten to know Sarah very well over the past couple months, and she's probably at the top of my list right now just because of kind of what we've gone through, I guess, recently. Um, but I went to school with Jesse Comfer, who JT obviously just won the Cup in Colorado. So me and Jesse have been pretty close. Um, I know Hillary Knight a little bit. But, like, what they're doing for women's hockey is insane. And I was talking to Sarah about, like, her summer and, like, what she's doing. And she's wearing so many different hats and still finding time to train and, like, skate. And I'm, I was blown away. Like, incredible stuff that they're doing. So, kind of good for them. That's awesome, man. You know, love the the Canada-U.S. rivalry in men's hockey. Uh, I think, you know, the women's yeah. hockey. The women's, the women's I feel like it. they play each other, like, 100 times a year. I was telling her. I was like, Jesus. It's- it's it's crazy man it, it's it's so exciting every time they hit the ice i feel like i have to ask you just like one question about your own game uh not in shell in real life who who would you say that you really model your game the most after as a kid and now in the league yeah well growing up i was i was a big Patrick Kane fan um i just kind of loved the way he played and the way he could slow it down and find guys across the ice on backhand spin pass all that good stuff and um I definitely watched probably every Chicago Blackhawk game since like 2010 or something crazy like that. Um, but also like Datsuk in Detroit was, was unbelievable. And he was kind of at the peak of his, I guess, NHL career kind of when I was right at that stage of like training and whatnot. So it was, it was great to kind of follow him a little bit. And, and then obviously recently like Austin Matthews and those guys that come through the U S program, um, I know just being a couple years older than you, but um, you kind of just follow in the footsteps of those guys, right? And um, kind of what he's done, obviously, this year was was bonkers, with 60 tucks. <laughs> I still can't believe it, but pretty, pretty cool. Man, I can't believe how good Team USA is going to be uh, <laughs> at the next inter- international tourney because, oh, my uh-huh. goodness, you guys, you guys are scaring me with all that talent. Um Okay, man, let's, uh, let's address the elephant in the room here. Uh, you know, we saw you on the street at All-Star Weekend. You were holding a big bag of popcorn. I was kind of confused personally, uh, but I thought, it was, I was like, who, who else would be holding it except for you, man? I love it. So we, we specifically said, we're going to throw you the flame tape before you do the shootout move. So I got to ask, man, because I got some questions. I trusted Luca to get you that flame tape, and, and he just – he chucked an absolute muffin out there. <laughs> like, it, didn't, well, it didn't even make it to center ice. So what happened? Were you expecting it? Did you forget about it? Because that was like obviously one of the biggest moments of your career. I want to know what's going on in your head. Dude, I was full on like a full panic attack before I went on the ice. Because I was like, this is it. Like I had one shot here. Like this is pretty much why I came to this. And like I was like, the bl- something got messed up with the blindfold. Like right before I went out, they were like, we lost it. We're going to give you a new one. And so no. I was like, I'm not going out there without that blindfold. Somehow they recovered it. And I was just like, almost like blacked out till I got to like center ice. And then the guy put the microphone on my mouth and I didn't even know, like the flame tape was so far from my, like where I was at, like it was crazy. And then like, once I like touched the puck though, I was fine. Like I was like, I was fine. but like, like no idea, like totally forgot about it. <laughs> But but you but you saw the video after I saw the video. I was dying. <laughs> Such a bad throw, though. <laughs> you hear that, Luca? So sure. We were uh, deciding to. I, I said to Luca like three times, like man, make like make sure you got the right angle, get a good toss, and then he throws it. You can just hear me in the background go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was talking about you. I was like, Zeebs. But really, I should I, I should be like, Luca, come on, that was awful. But, well, I thought I you know. guys were going to throw it out before, like in like the skate around and stuff. So I was like looking for you guys for a little bit, but then like, I was just so nervous before the the shootout or whatever that I was just like, just let me get out there. I don't want to look at anybody, like put the blindfold on me. I'll give it a try. And then obviously it ended up working out, which is pretty good. But honestly, man, uh, don't sweat it at all. We completely understand, but maybe we can get you to use some flame tape during, during warm up when you're in Toronto or in Winnipeg, maybe we, we could swing that. We'll, we will definitely be in your DMS uh, if you're open to that. Absolutely. Maybe a preseason game. I don't know about a regular season game, but I definitely do it for a preseason game for sure. Dude, 100%. Whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. You know, we just love yeah. seeing that flame tape on the ice. But you're a very easy guy to talk to. Very charismatic. <laughs> great personality for the game. Again, just want to congratulate you. EA just I absolutely knocked it out of the park with this one. And uh, take it in, baby. You're, you're, you're living everyone's dream right now. So congratulations, man. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Yeah, Norzen, we'll be in touch with that flame tape, eh? Absolutely. We got to work on your Lucas throw, though, for next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be getting that guy in the gym. Just get him in the worry. gym, like a video of him, like, snapping it around or something. I don't know. We lost air conditioning today, so I'm dying. <laughs> That's tough, man. I know, I know the, it's very hot in Cali, but it's, it's actually been very hot in Toronto, too. In the dead of summer. Oh, we're dying in here. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, Winnipeg's so cold in the winter, too, but that place in the oh, summer is Winnipeg so is freezing. Dude, in the winter, in the for summer, reason. you should see that place. Oh, I was getting like frostbite just walking around to get a coffee. It's nuts. <laughs> Dude, I, I think I think you should play there in the future, but that's just my thing. <laughs> the barn is sick. Oh, so good. Oh, I'm glad you think so. We're one well, step that, closer. Well, the one time we played there, that Kyle Connor had two goals and everyone threw their hats on the ice. Was, but we were getting killed. It was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's our pride and joy right there, man. Yeah. Good crowd. Good crowd.